Costco is known for a couple things. One is that, you know, it's known for value, low prices, and that's served it in really good stead the last few years. Recent reports have shown a growing trend of panic buying among Americans, with shortages becoming more noticeable as we approach the end of 2023. Many people are taking action now to secure household supplies and favorite items before they vanish from local store shelves. Shoppers are flocking to places like Costco to save on costs of buying in bulk and preparing for for the future. In this video, we're diving into the supplies that have been hit hardest by price hikes at Costco stores over the past month. The shockingly high price increases have left many wondering how they'll continue to afford essential items. These changes reflect larger issues within the economy and the supply chain, sparking concerns about the future. It's important to pay attention to the signals coming from key figures within these companies. Costco's Chief Financial Officer, Richard Galanti, has issued a warning that provides insight into the future of the US economy. These words carry weight and indicate that challenges lie ahead. Whether you're getting ready for future uncertainties or simply looking to support your family, buying products in bulk can provide substantial savings and help you weather supply chain disruptions. Costco warehouses have been a favorite destination for bulk buyers. During the pandemic, Costco gained recognition for maintaining lower prices while other retailers were raising theirs. This approach earned them popularity and loyalty from consumers. Between 2020 and 2022, Costco's market share in the grocery industry grew by 3.2%. In contrast to other retailers, they stood out for keeping prices affordable. However, the present situation is vastly different. Costco's shares have seen a sharp decline from their peak in 2021, indicating that challenges have arisen that impact their availability to continue offering the same level of value. Recently, Costco's stock saw a continuous decline over five consecutive days. The previous month proved to be challenging, with multiple stalls reporting poor performance. Executives shared a cautious outlook for the third and fourth quarters, raising concern about an impending recession and persistent food inflation. The most recent earnings report indicated that sales have dipped for two consecutive quarters and are anticipated to continue declining for the remainder of the year. An insightful analysis highlights the primary reason behind the company's disappointing sales numbers, the steep prices at their warehouses. Loyal customers who pay membership fees ranging from $60 to $100 are expressing their dissatisfaction with the recent price hikes. The mega retailer attributes these increases to elevated operational costs and soaring commodity prices that are impacting not only Costco, but also various industries, particularly the grocery sector. According to analysis from Eat This Not That, who compiled a wealth of customer complaints posted on Costco's Reddit page, social media is abuzz with common criticisms targeting some of the warehouse giant's most popular items. Observers have noted a surge in sold-out notices on Costco shelves in recent weeks. The scarcity of household supplies and basic grocery items appears to be spreading rapidly across Costco warehouses, a trend that's capturing the attention of concerned Americans. However, the majority of complaints have come from shoppers who simply cannot believe the extent of the price hikes they are witnessing at their local stores. One glaring example of this is the astonishing 250% surge in the price of a 40-pack of Kirkland branded water bottles. A Redditor shared their disbelief, recounting that this bulk buy, which used to cost just $1.44 a year ago, now stands at a staggering $4.99. It's hard to wrap up one's head around such a drastic change in a short span of time. Other shoppers pointed out the significant price escalation in crab legs. Over the past year, king crab legs have more than doubled in price, soaring from $23 per pound to a hefty $48 per pound, representing a 110% increase. Similarly, the cost of Kirkland's signature thick slice bacon, one of the store's top selling items, has surged by over 60% since last year. In May 2022, a three pound package of this bacon was priced at $10.99, equating to $366 per pound. Today, the same package commands a steep $17.99 translating to an eye-watering $6 per pound, as reported by Insider. Moreover, a particular product that has gained immense popularity among devoted Costco fans is the Just Bear Lightly breaded chicken breast chunks. Customers have even drawn comparisons between those chicken nuggets and those from Chick-fil-A, with some going so far as to say they find them even superior to the fast food chain's offering. Yet, it has become increasingly challenging for shoppers to get their hands on these nuggets at Costco. The high demand has led to constant sellouts in the frozen section. Previously priced at $13 for a four pound bag, these nuggets now come with a hefty price tag of $19.99. Understandably, this price hike has left many customers expressing their frustration and 
disappointment. The trend of rising prices continues across various products at Costco. The cost of butter, which was once priced at $8 in March, has surged to $14.99. One of the shoppers shared that a variety pack of a single serve chips, previously priced at $14.99 and often available on sale for $11.99, now carries a hefty $21.99 price tag. Similarly, another shopper noted that a three pack of cucumbers has climbed to $5.99 from its previous price of $2.99. Meat prices have also experienced notable increases. One shopper was taken aback by the jump in meat prices, recounting their experience of paying $60 today for three racks of ribs, compared to just $35 two months ago. Although the price is often calculated per pound, a 25% increase remains substantial. Among the products facing the highest markups, steak, beef, chicken, bacon, and salmon have more than doubled in price. Even basic essentials like milk, eggs, and butter have risen 27 and 60%. When it comes to produce and frozen berries, price hikes range from 10 to 45%. Household staples like paper towels and dishwasher liquid have seen increases of up to 37%. Items like rice, beans, flour, and pasta now cost up to 32% more compared to 2022 levels. The situation is compounded by frequent shortages of certain products at Costco stores. Muffins, bread, bagels, snacks such as spinach artichoke dip and cliff bars, as well as items like shrimp chips, orange chicken, and chicken pot pie are constantly sold out. Even New Mexico politician Stephanie Lord took to social media to voice her concerns about Costco's price increases. She shared an image of an $800 receipt from a Costco shopping trip, sparking a debate on social media platforms like Twitter. The receipt dated June 20th, 2023, showed 58 items purchased, but not all were visible in the photo. The receipt stirred reactions, with some skeptical due to the obscure products, while others pointed out that even without high price items, the total bill could be substantial. On average, she spent around $13.79 per item, shedding light on the gravity of the price changes. A case of canned corn now costs more than that, as does a bulk sized package of ground beef. Just the non-food items alone tally up to nearly $250 on a bill, indicating that nearly $550 was spent solely on food, a common occurrence at Costco these days. One user humorously noted that it's becoming more economical to sharpen their knives at the local grocer than to shop at Costco. A newly released Federal Reserve report echoes these trends, revealing that two-thirds of Americans have turned to cheaper alternatives to make ends meet a bit inflation. Of these consumers, 66% are exclusively buying generic brands to save money. This aligns with Costco's data, highlighting that Americans are generally opting for more budget-friendly options across various product categories. Galanti also shared news that points to lingering issues in the economy. The average daily transaction or ticket has dropped by 4.2% globally and 3.5% in the United States, with particular impact stemming from reduced sales of bigger ticket non-item discretionary items. He indicated that even affordable chains are losing customers due to rising prices, a clear sign that something is amiss in the economy. Ideally, prices should be decreasing, but this is not the reality observed during shopping trips. Ultimately, Costco isn't the sole retailer raising prices in the current landscape, nor is it the only one facing financial challenges and declining sales. The situation is merely a symptom of a broader underlying issue that's expected to escalate as we approach the final months of 2023. It's becoming increasingly clear that preparations for the recession that has just begun are imperative. And that's a wrap on today's update about the price hikes at Costco and the looming recession. If you enjoyed the video and found it useful, please show your support by giving it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you won't miss out on our upcoming videos. We're eager to hear your thoughts, so feel free to leave a comment below and let us know your views on the current situation. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next video.